My friends, on May 27, 2015, after our Holy Father's general audience, I was very privileged to have a brief but very blessed meeting with Pope Francis concerning the proclamation of Mary as the spiritual mother of all peoples, co redemptrix mediatrix of all graces and advocate. I have to tell you, my friends, that the love of Pope Francis for Our Lady is absolutely authentic and, and dynamic. Uh, for example, during the audience, uh, which he gave on engagement, uh, he stopped his own text and asked the massive crowd to pray a Hail Mary to La Madonna for all engaged couples. A few weeks earlier, in an interview, he made reference that he's stopped watching television as a result of a personal vow he made to Our Lady of Mount Carmel. He lives and breathes the truth of the Church that Mary is the spiritual mother of all peoples, and that is his firm conviction. Now, also during my time in Rome, I had uh, meetings with some top Vatican curial officials, and they confirmed to me the importance of petitions from you, from the faithful. In fact, one Vatican curial officer very close to the Holy Father said that petitions from the faithful are not a pressure from the people, but are an expression of the faith of the people. And actually, petitions for Marian dogmas to Holy Fathers is simply part of Catholic precedent. For example, both Blessed Pius IX and Pius XII thanked the people for the millions of petitions they had received, which led up to their respective definitions of the Immaculate Conception in 1854 and the definition of the Assumption of Our Lady in 1950. And so, this is part and parcel of our Catholic tradition. In fact, even canon law in Canon 212, Numbers 1 and 2 say that not only do the faithful have the right to petition the sacred pastors of the Church for things important, but uh, point 2 says that they can even have the duty to bring to the attention of the Supreme Pastors things important for the Church, things good for the Church. And truly, the proclamation of Our Lady as the spiritual mother of all peoples is a gravely needed good for the Church. So think of it this way. If a Holy Father was considering making a Marian proclamation, imagine that A, he has to do so on his own, versus B, he makes a proclamation regarding Our Lady with the support and sustenance and at the service of millions of faithful throughout the world. Which you think the Holy Father would prefer? In fact, these petitions are support to Him. So, I encourage you, write a petition to Pope Francis. This is a specially relevant and fruitful time to manifest what canon law calls, but also, I think, deeper what, what the heart calls in honoring Our Lady. Write to Pope Francis. Write him a brief note expressing your support of his support for the fifth Marian dogma. You know, write it from your heart to the Holy Father's heart. And it doesn't have to be long. A few lines is, is sufficient. But an expression of your support for the proclamation that Mary is the spiritual mother of all humanity. Indeed, it is timely and important because if the Holy Father proclaims Mary as the world's spiritual mother, then and only then can she fully intercede as mother for the great promise of peace in the world. A promise she made at Fatima, she's made it at Amsterdam, Amsterdam and other approved church apparitions, uh, that indeed, this is not just a, an ivory tower honor for Our Lady, this allows her to fully activate her role as the world's spiritual mother, as the co redemptrix as the Mediatrix of all graces, and as our greatest advocate under Jesus. So I'm asking you, and really begging you in Our Lady's name, write to Pope Francis. Here's the address, it's very simple. Pope Francis, Vatican City, 00120. Once again, Pope Francis, Vatican City, 00120. From the United States, you add three postage stamps, and it goes from you to the Vicar of Christ. Once again, this is about peace in the world. And I think we're all called to do our part to bring this forth by initiating heaven's remedy for peace, which is through the intercession of Our Lady and through the proclamation of this dogma. So write to Pope Francis.
for the fifth Marian dogma. Pray for him daily in your masses, in your rosaries. Offer your sufferings in union with the sufferings of Jesus for this great dogmatic crown. And then we will each be doing our part, not only for peace in the world, which, as the headlines tell us, are, is in grave need of, of a heavenly remedy for things uh, against degeneration, disaster, war, but also to fulfill scripture that all generations will call her blessed. Do this for Our Lady. Do this in honor of the Mother of God and our spiritual mother. Do it in support of Pope Francis. Thank you and God bless you.